mean, because Miss Hopkins says that your eyes hurt since the operation. And after all, she said you would go in where the sun is fierce. <laughs> Don't go where the sun is fierce, Annie. You feel right, Annie? Oh, they fit just fine. Are they pretty, Annie? My eyes feel hundreds of percent better. Heidi, why do you know how I look? Splendiloquent, like a race horse. Isn't that a present for you? Beatrice, oh, that's what I know, I know. It's for Helen. And we took up a collection to buy it. And Laura dressed it. It's beautiful. Now, you be sure to give it to Helen. From us, Annie. It'll be the first thing I give to her. That is, if I don't keep it for myself, I can't be trusted with dolls. <laughs> don't go to her, Annie. Stay here with us. Sarah, dear, I don't want to go. Why are you going? Because I'm a big girl now, and big girls have to earn a living. It's the only way I can. But if you don't smile for me first, what I'm going to have to do is... What? Put you in my suitcase instead of this doll and take you to Helen in Alabama. <laughs> Come, children, we must get the trunk into the carriage and Annie onto her train, or no one will go to Alabama. <sighs> bye, 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 bye. bye. Sullivan, age nine, virtually blind. James Sullivan, aged seven. What's the matter with your legs, Sonny? Forever endeavor. Can't you walk without that crutch? Girl goes to the women's ward, boy to the men's. Annie! 